Hi everyone, welcome back to Uniquely Chie Art. I usually stick to painting old architecture, but today I've decided to challenge myself by tackling something completely new, like painting a hummingbird. Before we dive in, I want to give credit to the amazing reference photos I'll be using today. They're from a reference photo pack I purchased on creatureartteacher.com taken by Dustin Blaze. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I highly recommend checking out their art courses. Since it's an unfamiliar subject, I created more detailed sketches than what I usually would in both pencil and colors. Birds in general are not something I paint very often, but I'm excited to see if I can create a decent painting of these beautiful creatures. I've always been fascinated by the iridescence of hummingbirds' feathers and their small size as a bird might just make breaking into the subject easier. When I first picked up watercolour again, I found myself exclusively painting buildings for over a year. Old architecture was my safe zone because I genuinely love it and I didn't think I could be good at anything else. One day I decided to break away from my comfort zone and try my hand at drawing and painting wildlife and human figures. To my surprise, I discovered that my observation skills have significantly improved after spending so much time sketching and painting buildings. This experience allowed me to draw animals and human figures in more or less the right proportions, making them recognizable. It made me realize the importance of stepping outside of my comfort zone once in a while to explore new possibilities and expand my painting skills.
So today's hummingbird painting is not just about creating art. It's about pushing boundaries and discovering what we are truly capable of.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more creative adventures. Thank you for joining me today and tune in next week as I will be painting the unique Gothic Chartres Cathedral. I will see you in the next video.